all electric BMX style e-bike that looks awesome, is stupid fun to ride, and comes in at under a grand? Yeah, you heard me right. It's less than, well, it's almost exactly a thousand dollars. This, my friends, is the Jackrabbit, and at this price, how can we go wrong? What's up, motorheads, and welcome back to Gearbox Pizza. So, in the past, with a lot of these cool and bizarre electric, well, things with a number of wheels, sometimes two, sometimes three, usually four, and well, sometimes none. You see, we usually end up showing you all the cool stuff and then drop the bad news at the end, which is usually the price tag. Yep, I mean, more often than not, it's, hey, this is awesome, but too bad it's way, 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 way too expensive. Well, not today. Yep, the price here is pretty amazing. I mean, a solid e-scooter is gonna run you like five, six, seven hundred bucks, if not more. Here, you can round up a bit and get a bona fide little bike. I mean, after seeing this thing, who's buying a scooter? Well, I mean, maybe there's still a reason to get a scooter, but that's no fun. Anyway, if we're being specific, believe it or not, this isn't actually an e-bike. Why, you ask? Well, I'm sure you've noticed by now that there's something missing. Yep, pedals. Because there's no pedals, the Drack Rabbit is actually classified as a seated electric scooter, which really isn't important. And as I'm writing the script, I'm sort of wondering why I'm wasting your time and my time with this useless piece of knowledge that's now turning into a heck of a run-on sentence that's destined to steal like 20 seconds of your time for very little reason and payoff. Oh, whatever. I mean, what else would you be doing right now anyway? Okay, okay, moving on. So. How did these guys produce and sell something like this for a profit? So, a couple things. It's not super fast and the range, well, isn't exactly breathtaking. So, there's a hub motor in the rear wheel that makes a pretty decent like 300 watts of power, which is, you know, it's okay. I mean, top speed on flat ground with this fella is gonna be a, you know, fast enough 20 miles an hour. Keep in mind though, this can drop by half if you're tackling like a gnarly uphill. And since there's no pedals, you can't exactly help it out here. Okay, so how about range? Well, nothing crazy here, but still enough to commute for most people, I'd say. 12 miles, that's about 20 kilometers for our friends across the pond. Yeah, like it's not crazy, but you can get a spare battery that you can swap in to double your range for a pretty reasonable 200 bucks. So along with the extra battery, there's a bunch of other accessories that you might be into, like a phone mount, a cup holder, travel bag, there's a set of LED lights, and even a fast charger that'll top off your batteries in half the time. Now, I really don't think you need much of this stuff, but hey, it's cool that they offer these things if you ask me. There's one brake, and that's in the back, but that's also where the majority of the weight is, so it's probably all the brake you need. And that rear brake is strong enough to lock up the wheels, so you can power slide this thing all over town if that's your thing. All right, so back to the speed and range, and normally I'd call these drawbacks with this package, but with the small battery, you do get some benefits. First thing is that it's small enough that airlines will allow you to fly with this thing. Find me another e-bike e you can carry on, yeah? And with the small battery, this thing is actually super light for an e-bike, like 23 pounds light, like lift it with one strong finger light which will come in handy if and when you actually run out of juice. So that's the Jackrabbit and I don't own one yet and personally I don't really have a use for one right now, but at this price, I think it's sort of worth picking up just to mess around and have some fun. I haven't seen anything like this and to me, so many of the e-bikes out there are just so lame in comparison. It's refreshing to see something different and cool that doesn't disappoint in the price department. The only question I think, if you ask me, is the color. And I don't know, I'm sort of leaning towards the white. What do you guys think? 